Every day, more than 500 tons of fresh potatoes are poured into Frito-Lay's modern production lines, nearly three times the average capacity of Pringles factories. So how does Lay's manage to process that massive amount of potatoes into perfectly crisp snack bags in just eight hours of operation? From the endless potato fields of Idaho, where crops are grown and harvested under strict standards, to high-tech factories in the US, Canada, and the Netherlands, the journey of Lay's stands as a testament to the power of automation, precision, and global scale. And today, let's uncover the secret behind those irresistible crunches that have conquered the taste buds of millions around the world. Once considered a luxury item and even banned during World War II to reserve food supplies for the military, potato chips have now become a global icon. Every day, more than 1.5 billion bags are consumed worldwide. Yet among this ocean of brands, only Lay's remains the undisputed king. So why Lay's? Unlike Pringles, made from molded potato flakes instead of fresh slices, or Kettle Brand, which hand fries small batches to preserve a rustic flavor, Lay's took the technological path. Every chip is cut from 100% fresh potatoes and processed through high-speed automated lines. At just $3.5 to $4 for a 220-gram bag, Lay's isn't selling potatoes, they're selling satisfaction. Because every crunch isn't just a sound, it's a pleasure response that triggers dopamine, the hormone that makes your brain crave just one more bite. But what happens if we eat too many chips? Just 100 grams, about a handful, contains 300 to 500 kilocalories, along with levels of oil and salt far exceeding daily needs. Regular consumption can lead to weight gain, heart disease, diabetes, and high blood pressure. More worryingly, frying at high temperatures produces acrylamide, a compound warned to be neurotoxic and potentially carcinogenic when accumulated over time. So no matter how irresistible they are, moderation is key. And now, let's journey back to where the story of Lay's begins. Welcome to Idaho, USA, the world's potato capital and the main supplier of raw materials for Lay's. Here, by late August, hundreds of hectares of farmland burst into the busiest harvest season of the year. When the potato leaves turn yellow and the skin of the tubers becomes firm, a sign that the starch content has reached industrial standards, hundreds of modern harvesters roar to life. Beneath the cool, moist soil, Rotating blades gently lift entire rows of potatoes, while vibrating sieves and high-power air fans, with a capacity of up to 12,000 cubic meters per hour, separate the soil and rocks. Each round, the smooth round potatoes travel along conveyor belts into rear storage bins, carefully cushioned to prevent damage. Each machine can handle 35 to 40 tons of potatoes per hour, nearly 200,000 tubers allowing farmers to finish harvesting an entire field in just a few days, a task that once required weeks of manual labor. Immediately after harvest, truckloads of fresh potatoes head straight to the automated receiving and storage facilities. There, the potatoes are poured into a massive hopper and moved through a cleaning conveyor that removes soil, roots, and dry leaves using high-pressure air jets. Workers quickly inspect the line to remove any damaged potatoes before the rest are evenly distributed into storage piles by mobile conveyor systems. Inside the storage warehouse, thousands of tons of freshly harvested potatoes are entering their winter rest. This massive facility can hold up to 5,000 tons of potatoes with thick insulated walls and ventilation fans running around the clock. The temperature is kept steady between 7 to 10 degrees Celsius and humidity stays around 90 to 95 percent, allowing the potatoes to remain fresh and rich in starch for months without sprouting or becoming soft. From here, the potatoes will gradually be transported into the modern processing plant, where their remarkable transformation begins. Inside the factory, Lay's journey begins with the roar of steel conveyors and torrents of spraying water. Tons of potatoes are poured into massive rotating washing drums, where hundreds of high-pressure nozzles release up to 5,000 liters of water per minute, washing away every trace of soil and debris left from the harvest. 
the entire process is fully automated, cleaning more than 30 tons of potatoes per hour without a single human hand involved. Immediately afterward, the potatoes move through a high-pressure steam peeler operating at 150 degrees C and 150 PSI. In just three to five seconds, the outer skin loosens and peels away completely as the pressure is released, revealing the smooth, pale flesh beneath. Compared with traditional mechanical peeling, this method saves up to 20% of raw material while ensuring a uniformly smooth surface, a crucial factor for producing perfectly shaped chips later on. Once fully cleaned, the potatoes proceed to the inspection and sorting stage, where optical sensors and high-speed cameras scan hundreds of tubers every second, detecting any bruised, cracked, or undersized potatoes and ejecting them instantly with bursts of precisely timed compressed air accurate to the millisecond. And then comes the slicing stage, the secret formula behind Lay's signature identity, the very heart of the production line that creates this legendary snack. Here, the polished potatoes are fed into a high-speed centrifugal slicer where stainless steel blades spin at over 2,000 revolutions per minute. The centrifugal force presses each potato firmly against the blades, producing paper-thin slices only 1.2 to 1.5 millimeters thick. The ideal thickness for even oil absorption and that unmistakable crunch sound. Throughout the process, a steady stream of cold water continuously rinses away surface starch preventing the slices from sticking together and preserving their natural golden color during frying. This system can process more than 20 tons of potatoes per hour, generating millions of glistening slices that sparkle under the factory lights. So why does Lay's choose the thin, round slice as the standard for all its chips instead of any other shape? In reality, potato chips come in countless forms, from French-style long strips wavy cuts, spirals, to thick, handcrafted slices. But the thin round slice remains the king of the snack world. This shape not only allows heat to transfer and oil to absorb evenly, creating perfect crispiness on both sides, but also saves raw materials and optimizes packaging space. For Lay's, it's not merely an aesthetic choice, it's an engineering decision, ensuring that every chip, no matter which factory in the world it comes from, meets the same standard thin, crispy, and flawless down to the smallest detail. And then the entire journey leads to the most decisive moment in Lay's production line, where ordinary potato slices are transformed into golden chips, the frying process. Millions of slices flow into a continuous fryer over 15 meters long, where refined vegetable oil is maintained at an ideal temperature of around 180 degrees Celsius. In just under three minutes, the moisture is driven out, creating the signature puffed crispness Lay's is known for. This happens so quickly that you can literally watch each slice turn golden within seconds as it passes through the high heat zone. But the most impressive part takes place right after the oil bath. As the slices rise to the surface, an automated skimming sum gently lifts layers of chips onto the de-oiling conveyor. Here, streams of 80 degrees Celsius hot air blow evenly from multiple directions, evaporating the excess oil without affecting their delicate crunch. Just behind that, a micro-vibration conveyor, oscillating at only a few millimeters, helps separate the chips, preventing clumps and guiding them into clean, even lanes before seasoning. At this stage, the chips are fed into a massive stainless steel seasoning drum, nearly two meters in diameter tilted slightly so the slices can tumble evenly through a fine layer of seasoning powder sprayed by an automated nozzle system. The drum rotates at about 10 to 15 rounds per minute, allowing the seasoning to coat every surface without breaking the chips. A metering sensor measures the exact amount of powder released, only about 1.5 to 2% of the chips weight, yet enough to define their signature flavor. When the drum stops, millions of fragrant chips slide onto the conveyor belt, a moment when the entire factory fills with that rich, savory aroma, signaling that the perfect snack bags are about to be born. Once the flavor is complete, Lay's crispy potato slices move into the final stage, packaging. 
On the high-speed conveyor, thousands of chips are weighed down to the exact gram before dropping into their bags. Frito-Lay's fully automated packaging system can process up to 250 to 300 bags per minute, with every action synchronized by weight sensors and optical cameras. Before sealing, each Lay's bag is filled with 99.9% .9 pure nitrogen, not to inflate it, but to protect the chips from breaking and to preserve their crispness longer, completely replacing the need for preservatives. But have you ever heard the rumor that Lay's bags can explode on airplanes? At altitudes above 10,000 meters, the bag actually shows a very peculiar reaction, one that's directly tied to the way it's packaged. Can you guess why? Share your thoughts in the comments. If just 3.5 is enough for you to grab a familiar golden crisp bag of Lay's, then you'll have to pay nearly twice as much, around $6, for a same weight bag of Kettle brand. So what makes people willing to spend extra just to enjoy a few potato chips that look almost identical? Kettle's journey began in Oregon, USA in 1982, when a small group of people believed that potato chips didn't have to come from massive automated lines. They could be created through slowness, care, and respect for the original ingredient. Here, each slice of potato is batch cooked in deep oil kept at 150 to 165 degrees Celsius, 302 to 329 degrees Fahrenheit and every gentle stir is monitored by human eyes. That deliberate slowness creates a thick, rugged crisp, a natural golden brown color, and a subtle sweetness. Even though Kettle has since expanded with sustainable modern factories, the brand remains loyal to its slow-made snack philosophy. A reminder that in a world obsessed with mass production, sometimes moving slowly is the only way to reach true flavor. So, which one do you prefer? Lay's with its thin, airy, shattering crunch, or Kettle Brand with its thick, bold, and rugged bite. To elevate the potato to its throne in the world of snacks, the journey of Lay's begins on the horizon of Idaho, where every step of cultivation is calculated through data, sensors, and machinery, precise down to the millimeter. Here, the soil is prepared by high horsepower tractors equipped with deep rippers that open the cultivation layer to a depth of 30 to 40 centimeters, creating the loosened structure needed for uniform tuber growth. Immediately after, multifunctional bed shapers use automated blade systems to form raised beds, aligning their surfaces to the standard 86 to 91 centimeters. Once the soil conditions meet the standard, six to 12 row planters get to work. Each machine carries two to three tons of seed potatoes and uses a continuously rotating pickup disc system to drop every tuber with absolute precision, keeping them at a depth of 15 to 18 centimeters to ensure ideal moisture and temperature. In the same pass, the planter simultaneously applies granular NPK fertilizer with an electronic metering system, sprays ultrasonic nematicides, and lays underground drip irrigation lines beneath the soil. As the plants begin to grow, the entire field operates like an open-air laboratory. The 360-degree pivot irrigation system activates automatically, spraying water in a fan-shaped pattern to maintain soil moisture between 65% and 75%, the ideal range for rapid tuber expansion without cracking. Drone fleets equipped with NDVI sensors fly low every week, scanning leaf color to detect nutrient deficiencies or early disease hotspots long before they are visible to the naked eye. Through the combination of modern cultivation technology and massive mechanization, Lays ensures that every potato entering its production line meets strict standards for size, starch content, and moisture. The foundation of the golden, crispy chips that have conquered taste buds around the world. From the perfectly aligned rows in Idaho to the roaring steel conveyors inside Frito-Lay's factories, the journey of a single Lay's chip is a story of precision, scale, and an enduring passion for perfect flavor. Before each potato becomes a golden, crispy slice in your hand, it has gone through hundreds of technical decisions, from cutting-edge agricultural machinery to intricate processing stages inside some of the most advanced food factories in the world.